Hey you guys, are you ready to do some special effects today with household items? Grab some Elmer's glue and some toilet paper and let's get started. Apply a small amount of Elmer's glue and spread it thin with a paintbrush. Rip the edges of a thin piece of toilet paper and apply. Apply some more glue. Use your paintbrush to dab and apply this all over the toilet paper. Don't worry about wrinkles or imperfections. The messier the better. Apply another piece of ripped toilet paper and press down with your fingers. Using my fingernail, I like to drag it across the edges to make them look more jagged. Apply another piece of small ripped toilet paper. Add another small amount of glue and spread it out using your paintbrush. Now it's time to dry. Using the cool button on your hair dryer and a low setting, dry your mixture. Don't dry your mixture all the way. Make sure to leave it a little bit tacky for this next step. With a tweezer, gently pull bits of paper away from the skin and start shaping your wound. Grab a foundation and apply all over, covering the entire area. I chose this product because it has a sponge tip applicator. For you guys at home, you can just use a makeup sponge or any brush will do. With a dampened makeup sponge, I blend the edges of the foundation into the rest of my skin. Now, using a matte black eyeshadow and a small eyeliner brush, I apply eyeshadow underneath the entire seam of the opening. Now, blend the black eyeshadow all over the inside of the wound. With a matte red eyeshadow and a blending brush, gently pat eyeshadow all around the flaps of the skin. This is going to start your blood. Apply red eyeshadow to the center of the opening. Make sure to gently apply the red eyeshadow. You can always go back and add more later. Add more black eyeshadow inside the seam of the wound. Next, lightly apply a purple eyeshadow to the entire opening. Now go grab some red lipsticks, a chapstick, and some coconut oil. It's time to add some blood. Now, mix some red lipstick and chapstick together. And with a paintbrush, lightly start applying the mixture inside the skin flaps. Chapstick helps give the blood, or lipstick, that wet look throughout the night without being too messy. Now for some coconut oil. Add a tiny drop of melted coconut oil to your lipstick mixture. I like to use this mixture because to me, it looks like blood. Sometimes I feel like when I buy store-bought blood, it's kind of transparent looking, like strawberry jelly. Now lightly apply the new blood mixture to the wound. It's up to you guys how much you want to add. For this tutorial though, I kept it on the lighter side. And there you guys have it, a sick looking wound to show your friends this Halloween. Thanks so much for watching, until next time.